Hello, it's Ms. Heather here at Conservatory of the Ozarks with Bernice. And um, we are in Bernice's voice lesson right now. And Bernice just practiced singing her song for the January recital, Face of Love, which she got her own special karaoke track made for by a guy here on YouTube, Tom Great Grape or something like that. So it sounds really good. But I still hear some things in Bernice's voice that could be more free if we could get rid of some more tension from Bernice's instrument here, which is her whole body. <laughs> it's the good and bad thing about being a singer, because <laughs> any tension can affect how you sound. Um, but the good thing is, you know, because it's your body, you can fix it yourself. You don't have to take it to an instrument repair shop, usually. <laughs> so this is a new stretch that I've been experimenting with that I saw on a chiropractor's channel. He's a chiropractor in England, and oh my goodness, I think this is such a good stretch. So I wanna see if it releases some of the tension in here. And then Bernice is gonna try singing her song again after we do this, and we'll see if we notice a difference or not. So this first one, we go like this. He had a name for this. Um, each of these are a letter. I think this was the Y pose. So you stretch up as far as you can, and then we come down here to the W pose. So palms forward. And um, we are trying to come back. Okay. So this should feel a stretch. Do you feel it? Yes. I feel it like all the way across here. Oh man, it feels good. Kind of intense, but good. Mm -hmm. Across then, the chest bone. Mm -hmm. Straighten out to the T pose. So this palms, is up or palms where? Like this. Okay. The palms are always like this. So it's like you're smashed against the wall. The elbows oh, are okay. straight. Okay. So we feel here in our chest. Okay. Pushing your arms back in a straight. Mm -hmm. Do you feel it? Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> yes, ma'am. It feels good and bad at the same time. <laughs> and then we bring the arms down like this to the eye pose. I forget what. And so still we're pushing the shoulders back. Then we just hold it and we can take a take a second. Hmm. And then um, let's try this other one. I don't know if I have this whole one memorized. It's from the same guy's channel, but it was a different video. So first we say yes. So we take our head and tilt our chin, tuck our chin down as far as we can. Mm-hmm. So here's a stretch in the back of the neck. And then we tilt it all the way back till our nose and forehead are pointed at the ceiling. You're hanging. And you can breathe while you're doing it and feel the stretch get more stretchy. <laughs> yes. Tucking. Kind of try to keep your shoulders back. Back again. One more. I feel the stretch less each time, actually, I think because my neck gets more stretched. So I can go a little farther each time. If you can, too, I'm pretty tight through the neck. <laughs> How does this through feel here. to you so far? Good. And you have a thing in your neck? I have a titanium plate. Ooh. So, <laughs> so if Bernice can do this, probably anybody can. <laughs> I don't know. Ask your doctor first. But so then we say no. So we take our chin and look over our shoulder. Hold it there. And then we say no the other way. I think you're supposed to hold it for like 10 seconds or 30 seconds. You could time it if you wanted to. I think it's interesting to notice um, which side you can go farther on, because usually it's not the same for both sides. Can't go very far to this direction. Hmm. I think I heard whichever side 
you can't go as far, you have tension on the opposite side that's pulling it hmm. or something like that. I don't know, I'm not actually a physical therapist, but just a voice <laughs> teacher. But now we say maybe. Maybe. And obviously this is where we're hoping to feel a stretch. <laughs> My neck makes crunchy sounds when I do So this. does mine, I was wondering if you could hear it. <laughs> I think I only hear mine, because I'm hearing it from the inside. I don't know about this one, because I've heard different um, opinions about doing this kind of a stretch. Some people seem to not think it's so great. That crunching sound I hear makes me feel a little nervous. <laughs> but I'm giving it a try. It does feel like a good stretch right here. And then, this probably won't show up on the camera very good, but keeping our knees soft, we bend over this way as far as we can, like we're trying to pick something up off the ground. Keeping your legs like pretty straight, but keeping your knees soft. And then backwards, and you can push your hips. And then forwards. Backwards. One more time. I noticed that even this, even though this isn't like a workout, it does make your blood move a little faster. Like I feel like my pulse increases um, because I don't feel like if I do this and I'm wearing a sweater because I feel chilly, at the end of doing this, I don't feel like I need the sweater anymore. So, so it's like a teensy bit of a workout. <laughs> and then so, the last uh, one from that program is side. Just pull your left hand down as far as it can go so you feel a stretch here. Other side. Right here. And be careful that you don't like roll forward. Keep your shoulders back as much as you can. Sometimes I like swing the arm a little bit because I notice it seems like it makes more of a stretch when I'm doing a neck stretch or a side stretch. And whenever I exhale, I try to like let the stretch go a little deeper anytime I'm stretching. And then this, these next couple ones are from my physical therapist here in town, Dr. Um, Coleman. So when I was in college, I learned this stretch like this. You put your ear to your shoulder and just pull down like this. That's how I always did it. Um, he gave me a little tweak on that and I think it is better. So you pull your ear here, just like I was doing, but instead of just pulling down, you actually pull up. It's like an up and over. So it's still a really intense stretch, but that's kind of what I was saying about before the maybe stretch that we just did. I don't know, some people seem to not think it's great to just go straight down when you're doing a side stretch. Sometimes I do kind of like wiggle this arm a little bit because it really, I can really feel the stretch here. I just slowly wiggle back and forth. And then the other side up and over you can't bend so good this direction are you touching your ear yeah but yeah I can't um, my neck won't bend it's okay proper. so if we think of pulling up yeah I think that's more important than the over part okay and then we can do a couple more Now this, this physical therapist told me to just do these for eight seconds each because I have neck issues. He says if you have issues, you should not hold the stretch for 30 seconds 
because it constricts the blood flow. And then same thing, but forward. So up and forward. So I'm pulling on the base of my skull. You know, you can kind of feel it, feel where the base of the skull is and then pull up and forward. You can kind of nod your chin down. Should feel like pretty great. And then kind of forward, but to the side. So like a diagonal stretches just a little differently than it does when you go over your shoulder. Still the thought of up, up and out, up and over. Other side, diagonally across. How does this feel to you so far? It feels good. Um, you know, I have a little trouble with my mm -hmm. inside, but um, mm -hmm. but yes, it does feel good. It doesn't hurt your no your robot parts. No. <laughs> <laughs> now this one, well, I guess I'll just show you, and then you'll have to do it. So see this? You put your hand like this. This is the only good spot I have to do this. And then maybe scooch over here because that way you can see when you watch this at home. You keep this pulled back. Man, it feels great. <laughs> it should stretch really intensely like right here. All of these muscles, you know, they connect to the muscles that go into our neck. And tension, tension in our shoulders can affect, you know, our larynx. So you want to give it a try? Just kind of put some gentle pressure. So, like you're, like you're leaning, and this is where you feel. Okay. You feel it mm -hmm. right here, and then just switch sides. I usually do that a few times, three times, something like that, and I can feel like the opening, the opening up of my muscles, and it feels great. <laughs> Let your shoulder kind of stay down, though. I think this one. Yeah. It's it nice on a door. <laughs> I'm doing something not probably quite right on this side that I did on the other side because it feels different. You probably have to face the wall a little bit more to really... Okay, yeah, that made a difference. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing is just shoulder rolls, plain old shoulder rolls that everybody knows how to do. When I was in choir in college, they called this uh, self-massage. <laughs> kind of does feel like that. So you can pretend you have a pencil sticking out from your shoulder and you're trying to draw a round circle. And then we roll the other way. These are great to do even first thing in the morning, even if you're not going to practice right away. And let's see. So that's 13 minutes. And I mean, I was talking for a few minutes of it. So like, I think easily in 10 minutes, you could do all of these if you practice them and memorize them. So we'll turn off the camera and see if it makes a difference for your song. Okay. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Hopefully, yeah.